Well, hello there. This is Bob Decker, tarot card reader and certified clinical hypnotist. And what is today's date again? Is it the 4th of December? December 4th. December 4th of 2009. Yes. Ah, getting close to the end of it. Hmm. It's very challenging, difficult, and in some ways insightful year. Yes. We've learned a lot this last year about ourselves and about how to conduct our finances, our affairs. It's just uh, a lot, a lot of lessons being learned. A lot of introspect. That's right. That's right. A lot of introspect. And this is my guest here. I'm sorry. My Hi. guest here, my friend April Claxton. Hi. Yes. Yay for April. <laughs> Thank you. Being with here with us here today. Yes. And we're going to talk a little about what April does. And she's going to give us some input on our reading as she feels fit to do so. Yes. She hasn't even seen the cards that I pulled. Okay. This is the last card of last week's reading, the Four of Cups. Now, the Four of Cups tends to indicate contentment. It tends to indicate sort of looking within ourselves for our answers and finding our balance. That's part of why he looks so bored. He's got everything around him he can need, but he's not really interested in it. He's looking in here. He's looking inside, and that's what we may have found ourselves doing these last few days, is really finding our emotional balance and looking within us. Now, what we're going to be coming into, and I think this is partly due to the holidays, is we may come into the energy of the Nine of Swords. Now, the Nine of Swords is kind of disagreeable. It's Mars in Gemini, and that's a really, really, really hard to deal with energy. It's a lot of mental negativity. Uh, do you have any insight into that? Does anything click with you as I say that? Yeah, it's interesting because the mental negativity plagues everybody, and that's our lesson. And that's what's going to help us when we look at the mental negativity that's around us, that's our red flag so we can leap to the first card that you pulled. Ah. We have to look inside because that's where we can chew that mental negativity that surrounds us so we can allow growth and we can move forward into your next card. There you go. Very well said, April. Thank you very yeah, much for welcome. that. you're welcome. And it's strictly a temporary state of affairs anyhow because what we're coming into towards the end of this week is the energy of the Knight of Discs. Now the Knight of Discs, when I'm doing readings, he generally represents somebody that's a plugger. Okay, it's a guy that just puts one foot in front of the other. He's gonna basically be the kind of guy that works hard at what he does. He's not in a race to get ahead. He's not lazy. He's persistent. He's a plugger or a plotter. He's just that basic person that does his job, come home, eat the meat and potatoes, Look at the TV set and go to bed. Now, in terms of us, it means we're going to be focusing on the mundane. We're going to be focusing on grounding our energies into the earth and just simply putting one foot in front of the other and doing what we got to do. Um, it's interesting because that's what everybody does in general. The negativity is coming up because that's our gift. The most horrible things that we go through, even small or large, depending on how you perceive it, we're looking at that and it's happening to us so we can learn what we personally have to learn about ourselves so we can grow instead of continuing and doing mundane day-to-day -day things because if we continue on that path, we will always be on that path. This is true. And we'll be stuck. This is true. And you know, I'm realizing the difference between the mundane and the spiritual is in the mundane we say, well... I'll believe it when I see it. See it in the spiritual, we tend to want to say, when I see it, I believe it. When I believe it, I see it. Right. Mm. There's a difference between I see it and I believe it, and I believe it and I see it. It's manifesting our inner dreams and our inner vision. That's right. Mm. So, April, what sort of things do you, are you into? What do you do? Um, I actually, um, I'm a medium, um, I do readings, but what I focus on internally is bringing hope to people and helping them find hope by helping them look within themselves. Um, one of the most basic ways that people can do that is through what I have found personally through my own negativity in life is journaling. Um, it's a very basic uh, practice, um, people do it every day, but it's a very beautiful and magical process for people to learn how to love who they are. 
And it's only through seeing how we can digest the negativity. How do we feel about what's going on? When we are honest with ourselves, that's the only way that we can accept what's happening and take action on it. And that's basically what the journaling classes do, is they help you each week, little by little, because healing is a process, to take action in your own life. So you are responsible for your own independent path. This is true. So how can people learn more about you? Do you have a... Uh... Um, through the Griffin's Loft website, um, okay. and then through my own personal website, which is themovementwithin.com. Themovementwithin.com. Yes. It's a beautiful site. I went up and looked at it. Thank very, you. very nicely done. Thank you. And April's a very nice young lady. We're glad to have here thank doing you. stuff at the Griffin's Loft. Do look her up. And I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video in this busy holiday season. And until we meet again, many, many blessings.